So chafe cover made of Dyneema here is a tightly woven sleeve that you can slide over D12 and that tightly braided 48 plat or 32 plat Dyneema chafe cover takes the abrasion away from the Dyneema underneath. So in this application here, it's been put on this bridle, this soft shackle, to protect from the sharp edges on this fitting as it soars backwards and forwards. So, uh, so Rob, where else have you used uh, chafe cover on this boat? Well, Alex has been quite clever. On the, on the kicker for the Scorpion, the bottom cascade here rubs on the centerboard case every time we tack or jive. So he's just stuck a bit of chafe, chafe cover that covers the full range of movement of this line here. The rest are fine because they sit further up. Now, interesting, we have, we have noticed a little bit of catching as the rig tension line goes across the deck here. Perhaps we ought to put some on there. Moving forward in the boat, we noticed uh, in some of the early sails that we were having a few issues with the tapered section of the kite halyard. Um, it was just picking away a little bit. So before it wore away or whatever, we haven't quite found out what the problem is up there. We've just tipped it with some chafe cover, puts our mind at rest. We've also put a bit of chafe cover on the moving section of the rig tension line. This is all the four stay tension goes through this bushing. So it's just a safety factor. So when I was stringing up the 400, I didn't actually have any chafe cover on me. But when I was doing the wing whams, I was using GP78 and I was tapering that line. Now, it's worth holding on to some of the tapered sections of jacket because you can reuse them as chafe cover. As you can see here, this is quite a harsh edge. I've just put a little bit of that GP78 cover on some D12 and it's protected. I've done the same at the other end, the dead end for the outer wall, where it exits the boom here. I've done the same thing. 